So probably the reason why you guys all clicked on this video and probably what you're all curious about is what was my starting salary in public accounting in Atlanta versus what was my starting salary in public accounting in New York City. So the Atlanta job offered me initially and then the New York City job, which was my first job out of college, offered me. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. I'm sorry for the late upload this week. I kind of had a lot of stuff going on in my life. So I am uploading this video on Wednesdays instead of Sundays, but the next week I'll be back to uploading on Sundays at noon. So in this video, I just wanted to tell you guys the reason why I did not end up moving to Atlanta, Georgia. If you don't know, if you're newer, I originally was planning to move to Atlanta, Georgia before I moved to New York City. And I'm also going to be telling you my starting salary that they offered me at the Atlanta job. It was at a public accounting firm. And then also my starting salary that I was offered in my New York City job that was also at a public accounting firm. So I think comparing public accounting firms starting salaries in different cities is pretty comparable. And you can see that based on where you live, you will get paid differently. Before I get started, make sure you're subscribed to the bell notification turn on so you'll never miss a video if you're notified and also give this video a big thumbs up. So the only time I think I've ever mentioned that I was going to move down to Atlanta, Georgia was in the video that I made when I announced I was going to move to New York City, which I will insert that clip right here. And something I've never told you guys before is that before I got my job right now in New York City, I did get another job offer in Atlanta, Georgia. It was also working in auditing at a public accounting firm. And I really debated about whether I wanted to take that job. And ultimately I decided to turn that job offer down. I did have a job offer at a public accounting firm down there. And I was planning to move there probably 2020 or 2021. I didn't know exactly when because it was during the pandemic. And I really, really considered whether I wanted to move there or not. And the reason why I didn't end up moving to Atlanta was for a couple of reasons, actually. First of all, it would be really far from my hometown and my family. And also because for some reason, this public accounting firm, they did not offer to pay for any moving expenses. So if I was gonna move down there, it would be completely on my own, out of pocket to move down there. And the third reason why I didn't move down there was because I did have a job offer in my hometown that offered the same starting salary as what was offered at the Atlanta job. So I didn't really see a need to move to a different city that was so far away if I was just gonna be paid the same. And also this particular public accounting firm, and I don't think I've ever heard of a company doing this before, but when they sent over my offer letter, they offered me a starting salary. And then I think two weeks later, they sent over another offer letter and they lowered my starting salary by $2,000 which really isn't a big deal because it's not that much, but instead they offered to give me a $2,000 sign-on bonus that would be included in my first paycheck. So I don't know why they really did that and why they thought lowering my salary by $2,000 was necessary. And so it kind of just gave me a bad taste in my mouth. So for all those reasons, I didn't end up moving to Atlanta, but reasons that I was really considering moving to Atlanta was because I really wanted to leave my hometown because I knew I didn't want to stay in my hometown for my first job. And so I wanted to go to a different city and experience a different culture and also just live on my own. So I looked at some apartments when I was still considering whether I wanted to move or not. And in Atlanta, if you spend $1,600 a month, you can get a really, really, really nice apartment studio and live on your own. Here in New York, that is pretty much impossible because you cannot live on your own under $2,000 in New York City because just the property is just so much higher. So I really like that Atlanta was a lot more affordable. I also really like warm weather and Atlanta is a very warm place and they have Southern charm and everything. I've actually never ever visited Atlanta. I did have a layover there when I was coming back from Florida, but people who have visited Atlanta have told me that it's a very empty city, meaning it's very spread out and there's not that many people. I don't know, if you guys have been to Atlanta or if you're from Atlanta, that area, let me know if that's true or not. And so when I decided I didn't want to move to Atlanta, I 
did not have another job because I wasn't going to accept the job offer that I was in my hometown. And so I started looking for another job and I ended up finding my job in New York City, my old job at the public accounting firm. And from the time I started looking for that job to the time I got my offer letter, it was only about two or three weeks. It was really, really, really fast. And so I accepted that job and I was still working from home because it was during the pandemic, but 10 months later, I ended up moving to New York City. So probably the reason why you guys all clicked on this video and probably what you're all curious about is what was my starting salary in public accounting in Atlanta versus what was my starting salary in public accounting in New York City. So the Atlanta job offered me initially $57,000 a year as an audit associate. And then the New York City job, which was my first job out of college, offered me $63,000 per year. So it was an $8,000 difference, which is quite a bit, but it's also a lot more expensive to live in New York City. So I ended up accepting the New York City job because I knew I wasn't gonna accept the Atlanta job. So yes, my starting salary in public accounting as an audit associate was $63,000. During the almost two years that I was there, they did give me two raises. So by the time I left, that wasn't my salary anymore. I did leave that company in August of 2022, so about six months ago. And now I work at an advertising company as a senior financial analyst. I did make an entire video about why I left public accounting and why it wasn't for me. So I will link that video in the description below if you're interested. So yeah, that is my whole spiel about how I almost moved to Atlanta, Georgia and why I didn't end up moving there and what my starting salary was in Atlanta versus New York. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell and it so you'll never miss a video if you're notified and I will talk to you next time. Goodbye. Brand new hire in public accounting without much experience in New York City, they did offer me. So at this internship, they were paying me. And something I want to say about salary is...